The world has been fighting a battle against the COVID-19 pandemic, a truly unprecedented once-in-a-century health crisis for nearly a full year now. And while many countries that hope they were past the worst, including South Korea, are now again grappling with new outbreaks. And to create COVID-19 vaccines and end this health crisis, what we are seeing right now is an incredible level of cooperation and mobilization in the biotech world at full speed in a global scale. So today we introduce you to Cytiva, the world's leading provider of technologies and equipment for biomanufacturers so that they can produce treatment efficiently and quickly. Cytiva is currently teaming up with many biotech companies to expedite COVID-19 vaccine development and manufacturing. To help us learn more about Cytiva, we have Mr. Francis Van Paris, Commercial Vice President of Cytiva Asia Pacific, joining us today. We also have James Kim, the CEO of AmCham Korea, an association of more than 800 U.S. enterprises doing business in Korea. Great to have you back at the program, James. I'm very excited about our guest today. Francis has been a very active member of AmCham's Board of Governors for many years. COVID-19 is a truly global challenge, and Cytiva is a prime example of a global company in Korea that is contributing to Korea's amazing healthcare system. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So for our viewers to better understand what your company does to enhance global health, um, could you tell us what Cytiva actually does to support the development of protein-based therapeutics and future treatment? So we are a start to finish bioprocessing uh, provider. So we essentially provide them with manufacturing solutions. If you uh, kind of simplify and compare to what you do in a kitchen, um, in fact, we sell the pots, the pans and the ingredients for the soup. And so essentially it's, it's a combination of hardware and um, raw materials that are being used in the process to ultimately develop a protein-based drug. Protein-based drugs are biological drugs with a biological function as opposed to chemical drugs. They're typically uh, more efficient, um, more impactful uh, than typical chemical drugs. And so uh, they require um, a complex manufacturing uh, system and developing system. And so Cytiva is there to support the research and development as well as the manufacturing of those therapies. South Korea has some of the world's most innovative innovative uh, biopharma companies today. What does investing in the Korean market and supporting the growth of the industry here really mean for Cytiva? Mm -hmm. Well, remarkably, Korea is uh, our third biggest market globally. Uh, so um, the innovation, the academic power, uh, the um, scale that's happening here in Korea is, uh, is unprecedented. We have some of the biggest infrastructure for manufacturing of biological drugs uh, based in Korea. We have some of the biggest biosimilar product, uh, producers um, based in Korea. And so we've been working with them for multiple years, more than a decade. The concentration um, of um, the manufacturing scale in Korea is, um, is very um, important, uh, which is one of the reasons why uh, we have a consultancy center uh, based in Songdo, uh, which ultimately helps both large companies as well as um, starting biotechs uh, as well as academic partners with um, scale-up services, process development services, training center. Our mission today with, um, with these companies is to enable them with further productivity so they can manufacture at lower cost and therefore uh, provide more access to more patients for these drugs as well as provide additional infrastructure. Um, there's, they are continuing to expand um, and uh, expanding their production capacity and we are uh, honored and privileged uh, to be part of that uh, ecosystem. South Korean biotech companies like Samsung Biologics and Celtrion and Seagene are also part of your extensive list of clients. Uh, what are the crucial technologies that Cytiva provide for these South Korean companies that enable them to efficiently develop uh, the healthcare products? CGEN is another example of a diagnostic company where we are the tools provider. So we provide components which then are used in diagnostic tests, in this case, um, uh, most recently uh, for COVID-19. What it actually means to them is, is not necessarily purely the manufacturing scale. It's also how we help them drive productivity, uh, drive their costs down 
uh, do more with less, um, so minimize the, the usage of raw materials, optimize uh, and, and introduce new technologies that um, help them produce faster, uh, lower doses and therefore um, you know, giving access to, to, to a broader scale of patients. So as a global life sciences leader in the development and manufacturing, how is your company specifically responding to this pandemic today? Um, large players in every continent um, have um, asked us to accelerate the production of um, some of those critical raw materials which they, they need and that we have responded to that. We are um, also adding shifts around the manufacturing uh, facilities around the world, including in Asia, but also in the US. Um, we are expanding by adding new production lines and we're looking at uh, doing further investments, which we haven't announced yet, but uh, adding more manufacturing capacity to ensure uh, that uh, the ongoing demand for vaccine manufacturing, which will likely go into 2022, uh, we anticipate um, to, to ensure that we are ready for it. In fact, uh, we've hired globally about um, 1,700 people over the last five months, um, and that's on a total of 7,000. So you can see the scale at which we are, we are doing this. So, uh, and that's happening across the industry. Um, at the same time, the logistics providers are doing the same. Uh, people uh, like FedEx, UPS, uh, DHL are, are investing to ensure the cold chain um, is, is, is there to be distributing those vaccines. Um, the pharmaceutical companies are looking for additional uh, capacity for those that are not manufacturing COVID treatments uh, to ensure that uh, they can use the excess capacity uh, uh, for, for COVID applications. So I think it's a happening across the industry, uh, creative solutions, um, and that's coming together into what will be an unprecedented um, delivery of, of, of vaccines that we've, uh, we haven't seen before. So you've also partnered with various companies in the Asia Pacific region uh, recently to combat COVID-19 and facilitate a vaccine development. Uh, can you tell us more about these collaborative efforts? Mm -hmm. Well, you, you mentioned the word uh, collaboration and I think that's a really important one because um, the challenge that we are facing, um, no single institution or private company or government can face this alone. And so collaborations are absolutely critical. Uh, with Takara Bio, a um, company in, in Japan, uh, we've looked to improve their manufacturing process so that they can manufacture more doses and also go to market faster. Um, in Korea, we have a number of examples where we are the tools provider for diagnostic tests. Uh, we're working with some of the major players here as well to uh, develop their monoclonal antibody for uh, thera therapeutics uh, for COVID-19. I think we have not seen an effort of this scale before. Um, and if you think about the challenges that are involved with developing a vaccine, starting from understanding the disease, understanding the biological mechanisms that are involved with uh, treating it or providing a vaccine for it, then studying the efficacy, the safety of that drug, looking at what manufacturing process we need, um, making it robust, ensuring there is a supply chain behind that manufacturing process, and then later on the distribution. Um, that whole set of challenges requires a lot of different stakeholders to collaborate in a way that has never been needed and never been uh, possible to this extent. To develop a, a therapeutic and vaccine program for um, things like Ebola, it took about 40 years for 300 programs to be active. It took about five months for a thousand programs to be active for COVID-19. So just in terms of scale, it's, it's unprecedented for sure. Um, it shows that the scientific community can do amazing things when the need is high. Um, it shows that uh, the innovation is at, an ult is at a sky high level at the moment. And that's very promising for the overall healthcare ecosystem and, and the healthcare industry. You know, there are more than 5 billion uh, vaccine doses in advanced orders. Sounds pretty sizable. So what challenges are you seeing uh, in fulfilling this demand? There's logistical challenges. There's obviously the infrastructure of the pharmaceutical companies, which is insufficient. Um, there's the supply of the raw materials, which is 
somewhat in, uh, insufficient. Um, and so there are um, challenges at every step of the, uh, of the way. Um, will we have sufficient vaccines available um, to serve the needs? Most likely depends on the number of programs that will be approved. Um, but I think the industry is doing a heroic job uh, in terms of getting to uh, the, the number of doses that we need. What can we expect to see from Zaitiva in the next five years, especially in Korea? Um, in our industry, innovation is very fast. We talked about that uh, before. We need to stay current with new therapies that are being uh, developed. And so as a solution provider and a manufacturing enabler, we need to continue to invest in technologies. You know, one of the key elements of our future is uh, to grow with biotech. There's so much innovation happening at the biotech uh, um, community that uh, we feel we need to be very close to them. And so in order to help them with scale-up services, training personnel, I mean, one of the biggest uh, limiting factors in the industry is we don't have enough pro professionals that can actually work in this industry. So training is a big thing. And uh, with that, we, we look um, with a very pr positive mind toward the future and we're optimistic about where we'll be in, in five years from now. It was a great pleasure talking to you. My pleasure, thank you. The healthcare workers in the front line are the real heroes in helping save lives. So thank you for all what Saitiva is doing your leadership, and we hope that we can get the pandemic, you know, behind us. Thank you, James.